You are no doubt familiar with the term con man. It's a scammer, right? A person that tricks people out of money, valuables, or information they would otherwise keep secret. But do you know what the term is short for? Confidence man. And do you know why? It's because they use their talents to overcome your natural instincts and mistrust and gain your confidence. And did you also know that is exactly the way most malware and viruses attack your computer? You know, my biggest concern as a, as a security uh, professional uh, is that, um, you know, while we have dealt with decades of having uh, cyber espionage being performed against us, stealing of information, uh, we are now moving towards the era where we're going to see cyber destruction be more common. And that's what scares me. That's what keeps me up at night. The problem is not only the impracticalities of most antivirus programs, it's the way we interact with our computers. Basically, we trust them. If we get an email from a friend, we believe it's from that friend. If we're looking for a new pair of shoes and are sent to a website that has the perfect pumps, we are willing to hand over our credit card and buy them. But that is exactly what hackers and information thieves depend on. So what is the average user to do? Experts proposing a total shift in information defense say it is less a matter of software than it is a matter of trust. In the online world, we don't have the same cues. So for example, if I get an email from my boss, and that email says, here's the invoice that you need to pay, I am going to click on the attachment. It, it does not pass my mind that my boss is trying to compromise my computer or steal my information. But that's exactly what the bad guys do. They can easily send me an email which appears to be from my boss, but they know that I have no option to open, and then they compromise my computer. But what if there were a way to remove that from the equation? What if it didn't matter if you could trust an incoming communication or going out to a website because any interaction you had with it was done in a totally secure, impregnable bubble, cut off from the rest of your computer? That is exactly what the engineers at Bromium have come up with. For everything that you do on the internet, let's say you go to a web page, we take a computer, a virtual computer, we create one, and we run Whatever you want to do, go to that web page inside that virtual computer. And then when you want to do something else, like go to another web page, instead of running it in the same computer, we create another virtual computer and run the other web page inside the other virtual computer. And this is for everything that you do where it is not clear whether that thing that you're trying to do is trustworthy or not. Protecting your home computer and personal information is important, but if you are running a business, it is even more critical. A targeted information attack could be costly to any business. But beyond that, just imagine how much more productive your business could be if your IT staff no longer had to worry about fending off or repairing the damage created by malware. Information security at ADP is, is, is critically important. If you think about our business model, we're a human capital management and dealer services organization, and we simply deal in our clients' information. We provide these end-to-end -end services that takes our clients' information about their, their people, their most critical assets, financial information, and we turn that into a process for them. We, we do that on their behalf. If you are like most people today, you are actively participating in social media. And that is not just for posting pictures of your new puppy. Social media marketing is a major part of the strategy of most businesses today. And many of us are spending just as much time on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube at work as at home. Information thieves know this and exploit it. Attacks are absolutely growing. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we have the metrics and the, and, and the, uh, and the information to show it. And they're coming in many different ways. Um, phishing is up considerably since the downturn in the economy. I think as new technology in uh, mass mail prevention has, has gone up, um, what you've seen is these organized crime elements uh, actually continue to throw out additional attacks into the environment because they have to actually go fish for more. All existing security technologies rely on being able to describe the nature of malware before they can detect it. And therefore, they cannot detect anything they haven't seen before. And they're not very tolerant of human mistakes either. So you can get compromised by malware you've never seen before, 
or malware that is leveraging a human mistake. And this is the challenge. How do I solve this? How do I build a system that can deal with the unknown threat? How do I solve a system that can deal with the human mistake? Bromium was founded to offer a powerful new approach to protecting your enterprise from advanced persistent threats that can evade firewalls, network protection devices, and antivirus software. So the genesis of Bromium is everything that the founders of this company have done in their past careers. Over the last decade, we've been working with virtualization technology and how it means to security. And one of the things that was very obvious to us back in 2009 and 2010 is that the, the, the insecurity, the cyber war that you call today, was a massively growing problem and it was going to hit us smack on the face. And we're going to have to do something about it and traditional approaches are not going to work. Existing security technologies rely on profiling patterns and recognizing signatures of potential threats and then denying access when the new malware signature shows up. But that is only after the threat has already infected your machine. That is like expecting a doctor to come up with a vaccine for a germ that does not even exist yet. Bromium's approach is very different. So to put it very simply, as an industry, as a society, we are computerizing everything and it's insecure very personal. So Chromium has started to solve the problem. How do you do anything about it? So we first came up with a new algorithm to describe uh, what, we, what is it that we should do. And then we started building the team, doing all the standard things that you need to do as a startup company to succeed. Wouldn't it be nice if you could unlock the full potential of the digital world at work, at home, and at play without ever having to worry about security again? For more information, log on to bromium.com.